Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to take you through my new living room slash sewing room slash filming room and basically my office space and also a very little cozy zen space that I can use for meditating. Hi, my name is Seetal. I love slow fashion, minimalism, mindfulness and loads of DIY. If you are new then welcome, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification button so you get notified every time I post a video. I post a new video every Wednesday evening. I have done so many makeovers and over the last 10 years I have learned so much about my own personal taste and how it has revolved depending on the situation or how my family and I use the spaces we live in. In this video I show you how I transform my space which is just space from a complete bank canvas into a space that I can relax in while also filming my YouTube videos and doing my sewing. Without wasting any more time, let's get started with the transformation. This is the room that I chose to make over. This room has got really high ceilings, it's really nice and it's actually not very used, used very often by my family because I think because it sits next to the kitchen and there's no TV in the room. So I decided to transform this room for my own personal space. So the first thing I usually do is remove everything that doesn't belong in that particular space that I'm making over. In this case, I removed everything, all the furniture that used to entertain a lot of guests at our house parties, except for this large refrigerator. I have an awkwardly placed fridge here that will not fit into the kitchen fridge cavity because it is taller than the average fridge. I do however have a smaller fridge that was already in the house when we moved in so as a result we now have two fridges um, and the bo both of them are only half filled. It doesn't bother us and it works very well for us. Before I start arranging furniture, the first thing I always get out of the way is putting together all the flat pack furniture pieces. The packaging etc that comes with these furnitures always take up a lot of space and creates a lot of leftover boxes and mess and <laughs> I just prefer getting that out of the way first and moving all of the mess out of the way before I move on to my next step. Next to get out of the way for me are the fixtures that also create a mess. If you haven't already realized, I'm not a fan of messy spaces. So I tend to um, all my fixing screws or hanging up anything that I need to hang up, which requires me drilling holes into the walls or ceiling before I bring in any furniture, just to avoid any dust collecting on my furniture or my rugs and avoid from getting dusty and then needing to wipe it off. Of course, I would not recommend you avoiding to use a ladder, but I am an extremely impatient DIYer and I love to get things done fast because when I DIY, I usually enjoy the end process more than the in the moment process. If you are an impatient DIYer like I am, definitely leave me a comment below on what other things or the funniest things that you have done while DIYing such as I did with using the drill as a hammer and my table and stools and even chairs as I am doing here very silly and very dangerous and then just a disclaimer I would not recommend you doing this um, and uh, as you can see I am not a professional so definitely recommend below on the funniest things that you have done on DIYing just to you know just because you're impatient and want to get things done fast and once all of that mess is made of course I clean everything I clean the floors the um, vacuum or mop if I need to and I also tidy up all my tools and keep it all in a in a in one place ready to be put back into the garage where I store them next I bring in all rugs or carpets to start from the bottom up basically in this video I actually laid two rugs one on top of the other to create a more soft feel to the feet as I do intend to use the carpeted floor area to meditate as well 
the rug that I used as my feature rug is one that I had in my TV room but it was too big for this area instead of buying a new one I just folded the rug in two and used the back side of it instead of the front side unfortunately I had a technical issue with my camera and this part of the footage was not recorded anyways the front side of the rug that I used had a lot of woven woolen structures that collects a lot of dust and is difficult to vacuum so as you see here um, the rug is actually folded in two with young kids constantly having accidental or um, accidents and throwing crumbs all over the place it's it just made sense to me to use a flatter side or the uh, back side of the carpet also in my case it did not look odd or out of place because the rug um, the back side of the rug doesn't look bad and a rug to me doesn't have to be a single rug laid neatly on the floor but it could be a combination of two to even five rugs or even more laid on top of one another to create a cozy area for our feet to rest on and now it's time to bring in the furniture this is when you can actually start to see the whole place come together i brought in this couch that i had recently uphosted in my last video to which i will link above here the whole intention to upholster the couch was to use it in the space that I had designed on Canva Pro using my design methods as I mentioned in another one of my videos to which I will also link above. So yeah, after dragging in all the furniture by myself, the last and best thing to do was to decorate the place. Okay, so this part I actually enjoy. I try to decorate the shelving unit with some books and plants as well as I try to keep the colourful theme going on and bring in lots of old IKEA boxes that house a lot of my fabric that I use for sewing since I will be using this room for my sewing projects too. I did store some unsightly stash of fabric under the sewing table to not take away from the minimal bohemian vibe this room has, not, has got going. I also took my time with the cushions and arranging of plants. With the cushions and the tiny bits and pieces such as the candles and the coasters, I did choose their colours quite intentionally so that they tie in with something or other. Like for instance, the yellow cushion on my white couch ties in with the yellow um, in some of the IKEA boxes on the shelving unit and it also ties in with this yellow trunk. Um, and then the same goes for the other colours. I picked my big pieces of furniture first, which were the couch, the swivel chair, yellow trunk and rug. And then I get everything else, like all the deco pieces in, depending on the colours that were already there. But I try to keep like the dominant colour in this room you would see is gold and yellow and lots of green. I, I try to keep that going on and let the other colours just sort of um, complement everything, the vibe that's going on and not take away from it entirely. And this is the final reveal. I have to say, I have been enjoying this space so much with my husband since we made over this room, or I made over this room. We so easily feel relaxed in this room because of the entire ambience that the room gives off, as well as the lovely scents from the scented candle on the yellow trunk and the humidifier that I actually put in as well. Also, adding a lot of plants to a room can instantly give it a zen feeling. Uh, I put I chose live plants because plants are just live plants are after all a part of nature and humans always feel more connected with nature than they do with material things the only thing that I will change about this room is that the basket lampshade that I have above on the ceiling I will need to get it get a yellow white light bulb as well as um, pull the shade down maybe by at least a meter so it is closer um, closer above than it is now because the ceiling is really really high here the lampshade at the moment doesn't quite feel like it's part of the decor um, and I definitely want it to shine a bit more than it is right now so this is the sewing nook that I have in the corner and um, yeah that is it for my video this week I hope you enjoyed it I am terribly sorry I did not post a video on Wednesday as I always do but I had a technical issue involving my recording gear Please do hit the like button if you did enjoy this video and share it with your friends and family. To help my channel grow, do subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification button next to the subscribe button so you do get notified every time I post a video. 
I post one video every week usually on a Wednesday with that said thank you so so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day bye bye kisses